Under advisement, Marconi applied for and received British patent number 12,039 for his transmitting apparatus and filed and won several more patents in the U.S. At the ripe old age of 23, he launched his wireless telegraphy and signaling company, building stations, expanding distance capabilities, and enchanting and winning over the public with constant demonstrations of the capability of his invisible waves. By the turn of the 20th century, Marconi had traveled to America to demonstrate his wireless there and had launched the American Marconi Company. In January of 1903, after Marconi had sent the first transatlantic message the month before, Theodore Roosevelt messaged his regards to King Edward VII via Marconi's wireless. The world was quickly changing before the eyes of the Edwardians, who were walking a tightrope between the comfortably familiar old ways and a shining, technology-filled future.